We're inching closer to WTHI TV's mm. 70th anniversary this summer. And each week we take a look back at the people and stories that have helped us give you coverage you can count on. This morning, News 10's Patrice Dayton tells us more about a murder case that started in Terre Haute and drew national attention. If you've lived in the Wabash Valley a while, then you likely know the name Larry Eiler. It was one of the largest serial killer cases ever with Terre Haute ties. In this Throwback Thursday segment, a look back at the case and the local family most affected by his killing spree. Larry Eiler. Larry Eiler. Larry Eiler. Larry Eiler. Stabbed repeatedly. Bound at the wrists and ankles. Stabbed wound the in his chest. The body of a man police believe to be in his Say 20s. they took a van full of Larry Eiler's personal belongings. In the early 80s, the evening news in Terre Haute was filled with reports about Larry Eiler, a serial killer right in our community. Eiler was responsible for the murders of 22 young men between 1982 and 1984. The ISU student lured the men with money and drugs, then tied them up and gutted them like animals. The body totally, totally cut up as far as No, the body was just the arm was off, the neck was off, the leg was off. One of those victims was 23-year-old Stephen Agan of Terre Haute. After a day or so, I knew that there was really something wrong. Stephen's mother, Barbara Agan, spoke to News 10 years after her son's murder. She said her son was offered a ride by Larry Eiler on December 18, 1982, but Larry never took him home. Stephen's body was found in a wooded area near Highway 63, not far from Newport, Indiana, in Vermilion County. He had been handcuffed, blindfolded, and gagged, his abdomen and chest sliced open. Yeah, he said it was worse than any car wreck victim that they'd ever had. Larry Eiler confessed to Agan's brutal murder and 21 other killings. He just wasn't sure who they were. They were nameless people to him. He was convicted and sentenced to death by lethal injection. Eiler died in 1994 of AIDS-related complications. He was 41 years old. Most, if not all, of the murders were gay-related killings, brutal slayings for Larry Eiler's sexual satisfaction, a killing spree that spanned both Indiana and Illinois. And that was Patrice Dayton reporting. There's another Throwback Thursday story coming up next week. In the meantime, go to our website, WTHITV.com. There you'll find special features, old videos, pictures, and stories. You can even test your knowledge with some trivia.